What is going on guys? This is Benny. Hopefully you all are doing well. Today I am live from Finland. We are here to celebrate the launch of Brawl Stars being launched globally. That is coming December 12th very soon. Probably the day you are watching this video. I don't exactly know the exact timeline, but today I'm going to be showing you guys some really, really cool brawler concepts that we, some of the YouTubers, got made into for Brawl Stars. Now there is a very, very small chance that these will ever be made into the game, but they look amazing. So what we're here for is to basically celebrate the launch of Brawl Stars and see the direction of all where the Supercell games are going right now. So basically it's just a big, huge get together for a ton of creators. There's creators from all over the world playing a bunch of different games and everything to celebrate the launch of Brawl Stars. And they had artists that basically were making concepts of people. And I was very lucky to be able to be, I was like waiting in line to be one of the first people to get drawn. And they they do amazing work. So I'm showing you guys a clip here of after sitting there and seeing how it gets done. I'm being made into a Brawl Stars character, guys. Look at that. So huge shout out to the man that did mine. You can see it. I probably have it up right now. What the look? So they asked me like, what theme do you want? What do you want to go for? First I was like, I want something with sports. And then that morphed into, I want the Dragon Ball Z. Because they're talking about shoulder pads. And I was like, nah, actually I want the Dragon Ball Z armor. And then I was like, yo, I really like Naruto too. So I, I kind of did like an anime theme brawler. And I got the Naruto headband and it has the Brawl Stars sign on it. It looks amazing. So I'm also going to throw up some other ones of the YouTubers that I've seen so far. I saw Chief Pat do his live. He's got his Tribe Gaming logo. It looks awesome. He really likes the Brawler Brock, so they gave him the, the Brock Rocket. His looks cool. I also saw Kairos' this time as well. If you don't know who he is, amazing Brawl Stars user. Definitely check him out. He's got the cool one as well. It's got his logo. It looks it looks really sweet. It, originally it was a clock, and I think they mixed it up or switched it up after. So those are the three that I've seen so far as we get more. But yeah, these are just kind of like concepts that they are drawing up for Brawl Stars. They are literally just like a memento for us for actually going there, being there to celebrate Brawl Stars. And it really, really is cool. I guess that leaves a question for me. What would you guys want for your brawler? Like, what styles would you want in there? Could, would you want like sports? Would you want like what are your favorite things to do? Like, what what is what's the color scheme that you would want? Uh, let me know. I really wanted like a heavy beard because I always have a beard in my videos. I wanted the headband and I really wanted those shoulder things. So I was so happy with how mine turned out. And I guess I kind of want to talk about what my brawler would be in the game. So I thought about this a lot while he was drawing me, and I, I literally just wanted to be, be like have basically Kamehameha waves every single auto attack, just a Kamehameha wave. And then I wanted my super to be a Naruto Rasengan. Or I thought about the like a Shadow Clone Jutsu for my super. If you guys don't watch anime or you don't know any of these things, you may think I'm talking gibberish, but basically a Kamehameha wave is like a energy blast and it just, it's, it's like Goku's main attack. It's, it's pretty awesome. And then for his super, the uh, Rasengan gun is basically like this rotating ball and it does it just like it's crazy it knocks people out it's insane and there is different forms of it but just the the base one and then that would be like a close range attack but it actually maybe i could do borotos and have it like turn invisible and i could throw it maybe, we'll, we'll wait and see but yeah what do you think would be a cooler super the naruto Rasengan gun or the multi shadow clone jutsu I don't know, because having a bunch of multi-shadow clones of yourself on there just blasting Kamehameha would be amazing. So I guess that's just one thing that I kept thinking of, and I was like, you know what, actually maybe shadow clones would be cool, but the clones, like, obviously would just be clones on their own, and they would be, like, dying, like, a couple hits. They wouldn't deal a whole lot of damage. Kind of like the Tara. You know how Tara, when she throws on her energy ball and that shadow clone comes in? So there actually is clones in the game, but this one would be a little bit different style, where they just kind of do their own thing. They're, like, kind of like bots. But it would be interesting. So maybe the clones would be better. So, yeah, that is my brawler. Uh, Kairos time, what do you think his is going to be? His could be like a, it literally like freezes time. And he's the only brawler that could be going in there. Literally insane. And then we have Chief Pats. You know what his could be? So for Pat, since he is the owner of Tribe Gaming, his super is going to be, it's going to be basically summon a tribe of people or a tribe of mini brawlers that help him out and destroy enemy brawlers. His auto attacks. Obviously, he has the rocket, so but we can't make it exactly like Brock. So those are just going to be those are going to be heat-seeking missiles that don't deal as much damage as the Brock one, but they're heat-seeking. So just a little bit different on that one. So yeah, I'm very curious. Let me know your brawler ideas, what you think. I don't know, this was just so cool to see the drawings go in and the work that put, was put into it. And yeah, like they had this like, waiting line and they had these note cards to like put your email and your in-game name, and that stack was 
huge for all the people that wanted to get their concept done. And I think they're going to take it over the next couple days, next weeks or whatever, and they'll email people their concept. Because like, they were taking pictures of people or they'll look them up online to get their kind of direction of it. But I don't know. It was so cool. So what else we did today was we know that we're going to be there for when they push the game live. We, we met with a lot of the other game teams met with a bunch of other YouTubers and everything. You may have checked out my YouTube story, whatever. But actually, we met with YouTube, saw some interesting information about a lot of the problems that YouTube's having and what they're doing to fix it and YouTube live streaming. Met some people from Facebook. Uh, this is so awesome, like, how many creators there are as well. Like, all good friends, all old friends, just seeing everyone. It's it's crazy to see how this is going. So, another cool thing about Brawl Stars is this can be for all the free-to-play players. Like, Brawl Stars actually does not take that much to max on an account and get, like, all the levels you need. Compared to other Supercell games, it is like way, 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 way yeah, less. I think it took like in terms of if you were a free-to-play player and you didn't, you just kind of play casually. I think it would take you like 30 years to max out a Clash Royale account. For for uh, Brawl Stars, I think it's like a year or two. And if you are a hardcore grinder, it's going to be way less than that. So that's one huge incentive to Brawl Stars. It's not very, it's basically not very paid to win. It's very free to play friendly. And that is by design. Ryan definitely said like they want to push like maybe make their more revenue like with skins and whatnot and all the other stuff. So that is huge. Like you guys see like the business model for Fortnite where it's like base gameplay is pretty much the same, pretty even. But if you want to pay money, you can get like battle pass, get rewards, get skins, get all that stuff. That is, I think, a very good way to go about this. So I'm really excited for that with Brawl Stars. And I just think the gameplay is really, really fun. It might be a little bit overwhelming at first. It might be a little bit annoying until you get all of your Brawlers unlocked. Um, because I know some people that have been waiting for the Legendary Brawlers for a while. But still, let me know what you guys think about the concept art. Are you guys hyped for Brawl Stars? If I, if I seem a little bit tired, I am a little bit. I, I'm not too jet lagged. This has actually been one of the better trips. But it's just been crazy meeting everyone. And so... So awesome. I might throw some more clips in that I took on my phone or you might even stay tuned for it tomorrow. But I just want to reiterate, I think it is so amazing and that they let us get drawn for a concept for a brawler, like your own concept in your own world. Now, like I said, unless like one of our concepts is like, oh my god, it just clicks for them and like, oh, that's so cool, they'll take it, but I doubt it. So it's probably never going to get into the game, but it's cool to have that memento that we can say that, hey, we were made into a brawler and yes, it's just art but that's how we would look if we were in the game. So that's crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, this was a really short trip, but it was just basically just so cool to meet everyone, meet, talk with all the teams. And, and, and tomorrow we are going to be able to like literally see when the button is pushed because they're doing it like country by country or I think they're gonna start like on one side of the world and move their way like across it. And it's gonna be cool because I think they're letting some YouTubers hit the button so when it pushes it like, oh, this is live, you can go download it now. So that is crazy. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you guys hyped for Brawl Stars? Definitely stay tuned, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of tip videos, strategy videos, in-depth videos, fun video, challenge videos, whatever. So hyped. Subscribe, stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if you guys like my brawler look and all. I love it. I absolutely love anime. So watching all those shows and I had to pay homage to that. And I think Carl is going to like the look of it as well because she loves Naruto and whatnot. So let me know what your favorite anime is. Let me know what your brawler would be. Are you hyped for Brawl Stars? Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. See you guys later. Updates. So traditionally in our games, you wait a few months and then there's a content update which adds new features to the game. But in Brawl Stars, we felt that it doesn't fit the game. So we want to disconnect content, and in our head, content can be things like new skins, new brawlers, uh, cool events in-game, from updates, which are features. So features could be, oh, we have a whole new esports tab in the game, like, like Royale did. So, so we want to disconnect both of these to make sure that the community constantly gets new content and constantly has fresh and exciting content to play with. Um, and we, we are pretty well set up now to do this, and we're going to pull it off right from the start. A lot of new cool things coming up in the next 12 months. Uh, we have a pipeline planned. Um, the next up update will be fairly soon, but there we're going to focus on polishing the game, making it better, fixing the things with the UI you guys don't like, um, like looking into chat and stuff like this. <laughs> so we also got to look at other gameplay related polishing things. We know Brawl Ball is not in the best place yet, even though yet last night I had a few discussions about this. It's actually working better than people might think when they go to Reddit. 
Um, but yeah, generally speaking, we have a super exciting pipeline in place, and that's it from my side.